Stimulants are a class of psychoactive drugs that increase nervous system activity. For the MCAT, you need to know some of the most common stimulants. Here's a handy visual mnemonic to help you remember these drugs and their functions. If you've ever seen Breaking Bad, you'll recognize this house and this famous pair of drug dealers. Unlike other drug dealers, these guys offer a wide range of stimulants. With all these stimulants around, it's no wonder that these guys are getting a little high on their supply. Just look at Walter there, in his bloodshot eyes. Guy looks like he hasn't slept in days. As you can tell, Walter is a bit... overstimulated. And this increase in alertness and being awake for days should make you think of an increase in central nervous system activity. Because that's what stimulants do. They stimulate your brain. Stimulants work in many different ways to produce increased alertness and awareness, as well as physiological changes like agitation, sweating, and increased heart rate. Now let's see which drug got Walt all amped up anyways. Yeah, just look at that cup of coffee in his hand. You probably already know that coffee contains caffeine, which is a stimulant drug. And just like Walt here, You've probably used caffeine to stay awake, alert, and focused. You can never be too alert in the drug business, right? And since caffeine is a stimulant drug, people can experience withdrawal after quitting caffeine. If you've ever tried to quit caffeine after drinking it regularly, you may have experienced these symptoms of withdrawal yourself. Headaches, lethargy, depression, and even weight gain. Basically, your body gets used to a new normal on stimulants. So once you come off, everything slows down and you get lethargic. Makes sense, right? Next, let's take a look at that bag in Walt's hand. Yep, he's got his most successful product, blue meth. This isn't like the regular meth you find anywhere. This is the good stuff. And you guessed it, meth is a stimulant drug. Methamphetamine works in multiple ways to increase neurotransmitter release, which can stimulate sympathetic-like nervous activity. This manifests clinically as increased heart rate, pupillary dilation, agitation, and increased sweating. Some of the neurotransmitters released by meth are epinephrine and norepinephrine, which explains why the physical signs of meth intoxication look so much like the fight-or-flight response. Meth also stimulates the release of some key neurotransmitters associated with mood and emotion regulation, like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. The release of these neurotransmitters can lead to feelings of euphoria. And like caffeine withdrawal, withdrawal from methamphetamine is like the opposite of stimulation, presenting as irritability, insomnia, seizures, and depression. Again, your body gets used to a new normal on meth. So once it wears off, everything kind of slows down and goes in the opposite direction. Next, let's pan back to look at Walt's associate. Yep, that's him smoking the cigarette there. He's a bit more traditional, relying on nicotine to get his energy. Nicotine is an agonist at, what else, nicotinic receptors. Nicotinic receptors normally respond to acetylcholine, and their activation leads to opening of ion channels, depolarization of neurons, and propagation of downstream nervous signals. Nicotine binds to and activates these nicotinic receptors, so you can imagine how it can lead to an increase in CNS activity. As a stimulant, it makes sense that nicotine can disrupt sleep, causing insomnia and also appetite suppression. Just remember our guy smoking a cigarette here to peg nicotine as a stimulant for test day. Nicotine isn't all that this guy is using. As you can see, he's getting ready to down a couple of really fat lines of cocaine. Say what you want, but cocaine is definitely stimulating. Like many other stimulants, cocaine causes increased heart rate, pupil dilation, and decreased appetite. Cocaine exerts its effects by blocking the reuptake of neurotransmitters. This makes neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin spend more time in the synapse, giving them a greater amount of time to exert their effects. 
Apart from the generic stimulant effects, cocaine notably is associated with repetitive or stereotyped behaviors. You know, things like repetitively disassembling his bike or digging through the trash. Weird, right? Importantly, withdrawal from cocaine is severe, and mood depression often results in suicidal thoughts. So I guess it's about time we let our stimulant-dealing friends here to get back to work. In general, stimulants increase the activity of our brain, resulting in increased awareness, alertness, and psychomotor agitation. Classic signs include insomnia or restlessness, increased heart rate, dilated pupils, and decreased appetite. They can also elevate mood, resulting in euphoria. The major stimulant drugs to know for the MCAT are caffeine, methamphetamine, nicotine, and cocaine. Remember that though these drugs cause stimulating effects during intoxication, they also come with a withdrawal period after use, with effects opposite of their stimulating effects, lethargy, irritability, headache, and depression. Now, let's let these guys get back to work. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.